Thank you, everybody. I just have a few remarks that I'd like to make before the meeting begins. Welcome. I'm Chair June Perrin, and I will be presiding over this meeting. As we begin, I'd like to review a few housekeeping items for the Commission, applicants, and members of the public presently tonight, remotely and remotely. Applicants. Applicants will be muted by the staff until the agenda item is called. Once called, the applicant will be unmuted to make their presentation and answer any questions of the Commission. When your item is complete, voted on, you are free to leave the meeting. Public. Public comment will be solicited during each actionable agenda item. Once I ask for public comments on a specific item, please click raise hand when you go to webinar in order to make public comment. Before being individually identified, all members of the public will be muted. The meeting organizer will announce the speaker by stating their name and unmuting their audio to allow up to three minutes of public comment. When called, please state your name and address for the record and proceed with your comments, speaking clearly during your allotted time. Please limit background noise to the extent possible. When speaking, please be sure to identify yourself so that we know who is speaking and do not use the chat or question function in the GoToWebinar as these functions will not be monitored during the meeting. As a reminding, right, reminder, this meeting can be viewed live on CAMCAST, Local Channel 19, or streamed at www.worldpalmbeach.com backslash YouTube. Thank you very much. First item on the agenda, can I have a pre uh, approval of the minutes of the January 26th meeting? Madam Chair, this is Mitty. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Can we have a roll call before oh, yes, we get into uh, the, the agenda? Call. Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry, go ahead. Chairwoman June Perrin. Present. Vice Chair David Leland. Here. Commissioner Adam Miller. Here. Commissioner Philip Marquis. Present. Commissioner Ray Nazareth. Here. Lauren McClellan, alternate one. And Daryl Brown, alternate two. Thank you, Lauren. You're welcome. Can I have, and now, can I have a, a approval of the minutes from the previous meeting, please? Make a motion. I second. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Seeing none, the, the motion passed five to zero. Maybe you need to want to say anything? Okay. The first item on the agenda is application 20 130, <coughs> Milano resident. The applicant. Applicant Charles Milano is requesting a variance from Section 26-62 to allow for a rear pool setback of two feet where village code requires 13 feet, a variance of 11 feet for a property located on Strenridge Lane. Thank you, Madam Chair. If I could, um, I believe that the applicant is present in the council chambers. Bradford, if I could swear you in on all the agenda items first and then I'll turn back to the applicant. Yes, ma'am. Can you raise your right hand for me, Bradford? Do you swear from to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, sir? I do. Thank you, sir. And I'll turn back to the applicant. Lauren, if they could approach the podium. I think she's uh, online, Mitty, and uh, she's not unmuting herself. Ma'am, if you can hear us, can you unmute yourself, please? Okay, I think she can hear you, Mitty. Hi. Hi, ma'am. Can you state your name for the record for me? Sure, my name is Charles Malillo. And I'm Ann Malillo. Thank you both. This is a quasi-judicial hearing, so I need to swear you both in. Can you please raise your right hands for me? Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? We do. Yes. Thank you both. And I'll turn back to the commission and ask if there are any ex parte communications with regard to 20-130 that need to be disclosed at this time. No. 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 Thank you. You may proceed, Redford. Great. Thank you. Can everybody see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
The applicant has requested a variance to allow for a three foot rear yard setback. I know that the agenda item says two, but it is actually a three foot rear yard setback in lieu of the required eight foot rear yard setback for a swimming pool. The applicant is seeking a five foot variance to the rear yard setback requirements as established by code section 2662D. The applicant asserts that the reduced setback is necessary in order to allow for a modest sized pool. Furthermore, Lennar designed the layout of the houses and property and quote, as two recent retirees, we have always dreamed of having a pool. Many of our neighbors are enjoying their in-ground pools and the psychological benefits of a daily water exercise would greatly improve our chronic joint and back issues. Village sent out the required mail notice to the residents within 300 foot radius of the subject property. Notifying property owners of the variance request, the village did not receive any responses either supporting or objecting to the application. The applicant has not provided letters of support or denial from adjoining neighbors also supporting the variance request. Um, highlighted in blue is the pool's setback in relation to the rear property line. As you can see there, it's three feet. Village code allows the village um, council to grant variances to the code when special conditions and circumstances exist, which are peculiar to the land structure or building involved, do not result from the actions of the applicant, will, con will not confer on the applicant any special privilege. A literal interpretation of the provisions of this division would deprive the applicant of rights commonly enjoyed by other properties. Variance is granted the minimum variance that will make possible the reasonable use of the land, will be in harmony with the general intent and purpose of this sub, um, subparagraph, will not be injurious to the area involved or detrimental to the public welfare. Staff does not support the applicant's variance uh, request because staff contends that the granting of the variance would confer on the applicant privileges denied to other residents in similar circumstances. This property is within the Glenar plan unit development and the rear yard pool setback was approved by village council at eight feet. Um, again, we were recommended to now and I'll turn the floor back over to you, Chair Chairwoman, thank you. Thank you very much, Bradford. Um, is the applicant present and would you like to make any comments? Yeah, they're on there. Mr. or Mrs. Malillo, do you have a presentation to make? Yeah. Our question is that um, why is the reason you're denying us is it the three feet variance reason why? Uh, we don't feel like you meet the criteria for granting the variance. And the reason why? What's your reasoning for uh, denying us? Oh, I don't deny or approve. I just recommend. Oh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not trying to be argument. I'm just trying to understand this. Um, we followed every procedure that was given to us, and and we're stuck at this right now. So if we're denied, this means we can't go through with anything. Mr. Malillo, this is Mitty, the, the village attorney. Um, just to clarify, Bradford just gave his presentation, and his his staff recommendation is one of denial. The Planning and Zoning Commission is still discussing your item, so they have not yet motioned or, or made a formal decision. Um, this is your chance to present to the commission um, your request and, and answer any questions that they have. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't understand you. But uh, no, we just, uh, we retired, like we stated, and the pool be helpful for us. And, you know, we had a pool uh, company come out, they gave us the design and this is what, you know, we It's a tremendous it. cost to build a right. pool. And without the variance, we'll have like a four foot wide pool, which, uh, you know, I, unless it's a koi pond, it really wouldn't be a pool. I mean, we've been at this process for seven months. We've had paperwork repeated and changed and more paperwork. It's been a long process. We're keeping our fingers crossed that you will See us. allow us the variance. I guess that's about all we can say. Thank you very much for your comments. Like, are there any comments from the public? Seeing none, are there any comments or questions from the commissioners? Any commissioners have comments or questions? Any comments or questions? Yes, I do. Go ahead, Ray. Uh, does this, 
is this a hardship to you uh, folks? Because, uh, and I'm not talking about the seven months that you took through the process. I'm talking about a hardship as in for health reasons or some other reasons. That was my question. Well, if you, the pandemic could be a hardship because the public pool is not open, uh, social distancing. And I also have several fractures, herniated discs. I'm 67, but I have the body of a 90 year old. Right. And be very therapeutic, which is why we have the uh, spa uh, included in the plan. I think we'll probably be in that a lot. Um, but yes, I mean, we were, we were given the impression when we bought this home that that was not going to be an issue to put a good sized pool in here. We're not asking for a huge pool. Uh, we're just asking for something that's swimmable and will allow us to get exercise and, and move our joints and, you know. That's all. Oh, thank you very Madam much. Chair. Madam Chair, if I could ask Bradford, just a reminder to you all as the commission. Bradford, can you put the variance criteria back up on their screens? Just a reminder to you all, um, this is like every other variance application that you, you consider. Um, you're recommending body here tonight. The applicant has the burden to prove that they have met each of these seven criteria which Bradford has now put up. Um, one of them, as, as was sort of alluded to, is, is a hardship, but I just want to remind the board that that's a hardship um, that's peculiar to the land structure or building involved. That's, that's number one on the screen there. And Madam Chair, finally, while he leaves those up, if we could just make sure, I'm not sure if Lauren can confirm if there are members of the public online remotely, if we could just make sure that there is no additional public online, ma'am, that'd be great. There is not. Thank you, Lauren. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair, back to you. Thank you, and no additional comments or questions from the commissioners? No. I would just like to make one statement that it, the setback is two feet where the village code requires 13 feet. That's a variance of 11 feet. 11 feet. That's a lot of variance that we're requesting. And that's why I believe it's going to be difficult because at least if it was a, a smaller thing, but your variance is such a large difference. So that makes it very hard on, on the commission. Madam Chair, if I could have Bradford interject here, Bradford and jump in if you want, but this is in a PUD. So then that. What Bradford said is actually the accurate information. This is a, a what amounts to a five foot difference, correct? Right? That's that is correct. The the um, property we call them property development regulations. The property development regulations governing the pool setbacks for the rear in the in the Lennar PUD is eight feet when adja adjacent to open space, mm -hmm. and they are requesting a three foot or a three foot setback, a variance of five feet. So eight feet is required, three feet is what they're requesting. It's a variance of five feet, more than half. More than five feet, okay. Okay, thank you very much for the clarification, Brad. But... Right, You're yes. welcome. Would anybody like to make a motion on this, please? I'll make a motion we approve uh, application 2130. I'll second the motion. All those in favor of the motion? Aye. Aye. All those against the motion? Uh, aye. 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 So you have a, that motion fails. Okay. Yeah, I heard so that is a, uh, a motion of three to zero to deny. Just for the record, three to, three to, three to, three to two, sorry. Two, so that motion fails. To fail. Yeah, just as a recommendation, um, I, I would get some letters from your neighbors that they don't have a problem with that because, in essence, you're setting your pool almost on your neighbor's yard. Uh, David, did they have a a pond in the back of their property which gives them a reduced setback of the eight feet so the rear setback they don't have a neighbor in the back of their property ah okay and and just so we're clear madam chair that that motion did not carry but you you have not acted that that's not a, that was not a denial that was just a failed motion to approve so we need a motion for denial okay can i have a motion for denial please then 
I'll make a motion to deny that. Okay. Application 20-130 variance. I'll second it. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. Three to two. In favor of the motion. Thank you. And Madam Chair, before you move on, who were the two that um, voted against? Say again, I heard Ray was the second one. Say again, please. Who who was the second uh, vote or not? Dave, it was Dave. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. I would just suggest, um, yeah, it said Mrs. Milo, that when you go in front of the village council, that you take as Mrs. Mrs. Leland suggested, take any letters from any um, neighbors that, saying that they have no issues or problems with that, and. Uh, and, and just make, make appearance before the council when they when this comes up in front of the council, okay? Because they will make the final decision. So thank you. I just I just wanted to say that this criteria that was popped up on the screen, this is the first we're seeing all of that. We weren't prepared because nobody told us what to do to prepare. Um, so it's unfortunate yeah. that. I just want to thank you in the application that we that you filled out. Okay, I just want to say that we're not infringing on anybody's yard. We're asking for a whip for a variance, a death. The pool is going to be shorter than our house. Much shorter. Much shorter than our house. So we are not, it's too late. we're not a, a infringing on any neighbor's property. We, have, we understand that, but that's why we're telling you when you go in front of the council, if you have any questions, you can always call us the village and ask them any questions. And I would suggest you take any letters or anything like that from neighbors next door. You decide, I know you're on the water, but anything that you could take in front of the village council to help them uh, work your way through this and see whether they agree or disagree with it. It's their, their final decision, okay? Uh, I, I, I would suggest that you contact Lauren tomorrow morning. That way you have a clear understanding of what happens next because it goes in front of council and we can answer any of the questions that you may have. Okay, I understand that. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Okay, thank you very much. Have a pleasant evening. Application number two, 20 133. The applicant, Ms. Allison, is requesting a variance from section 26 62 to allow for a rare pool setback of seven feet, where village code requires 13 feet, a variance of six feet, and a side yard pool setback of seven feet where village code requires 13 feet, a variance of six feet for a property located on Hemingway Court. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Lauren, if the applicant is there, can, can they approach the podium? Put you both up there. One minute, Minnie. Thank you. Keep right here. <coughs> good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Thank you. Thank you both. Can you state your names for the record, please? Claudia Ellison. Christopher Ellison. Thank you both. This is a quasi judicial hearing. Can you both raise your right hands for me to swear you in? Do you both swear from to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Okay. Thank you both. And I'll turn back to the commission and ask if there are any ex parte communications with regard to application 20 133 that need to be disclosed at this time. No. 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 Thank you. With that, Bradford, you may proceed. Thank you, Mitty. Um, everybody can see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. The applicant is requesting a variance to allow for a seven-foot rear and a seven-foot side yard setback in lieu of the required 13-foot rear and side yard setbacks required by Section 2662D of Village Code for a swimming pool. Highlighted in the blue is the pool setback in relation to the rear property line and the side property line. The applic applicant asserts that the, quote, existing conditions include a 13-foot rear and side setbacks, which, which prohibit a common side swimming pool on my property. We have purchased the property as is and have made no alterations or additions other than a wood fence, small paver patio, and widening of a driveway. We are asking for a variance to add a swimming pool because we love the neighborhood. It will only
only provide a means to construct a normal size swimming pool and hope all similar requests have been reviewed and granted. Village Code Section 2632F6 allows the Village Council to grant variances to the Village Code. These, this is the criteria for granting a variance. That special conditions and circumstances exist which are peculiar to the land, structure, or building involved and which are not applicable to other land, structures, or buildings in the same zoning district. Special conditions and circumstances do not result from the actions of the applicant. Granting the variance request will not confer on the applicant any special privileges that are denied by the zoning ordinance to other lands, buildings, or structures in the same zoning district. A literal interpretation of the provisions of the division would deprive the applicant of rights commonly enjoyed by other properties in the same zoning district under the same terms. Um, that granting the variance is the minimum variance that will make possible the reasonable use of the land, building, or structure will be in harmony with the general intent and purpose of this division and will not be injurious to the area involved or detrimental to the public welfare. Staff does not support the applicant's variance request because staff contends that the granting of the variance would confer on the applicant privileges denied that by denied to other residents in similar circumstances. This property is located with this, within the single family residential RS2 zoning district, which requires a 13 foot side and rear yard setback. With that being said, Chairwoman, I will turn the floor back over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Patrick. Um, applicant, would you like to make any comments? No, I don't think I have any comments. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Are there any comments from the public? Seeing no. none from the public, uh, I'd like to ask the commissioners, are there any comments or questions from you? Yes, I have the same question. Can you tell me how this poses a hardship to you? Well, we would like to build a pool, and with the price of a pool, you know, you could easily build a little bit bigger one for almost the same amount of money. And mm -hmm. thirteen foot setback is actually more of a setback than it is to build a house. So you just are asking for a few more feet so that we can build something. And we we lived there for over twenty years. The house was paid for. The kids growing up. We we like where we live. We just like to. Cool. Yeah, and like like Chris was saying, we've actually been residents for 30 years in Royal Palm Beach. Um, I've only been in Florida for over 32 years, so we've been here. We've we've raced off from here. Um, we finally have the money to be able to buy a pool, so that we have to build a pool. So we're trying to uh, enjoy that, um, and we're just hoping that it will be granted. And have you checked with your neighbors to see if it? How they felt? Were they supportive or not supportive? Well, actually, <laughs> we we know most of our neighbors, and they they were surprised that we even had to send letters out. So we didn't have any comments from anybody. Which is a problem. Uh -huh. yeah. And our next door neighbor is one that had like a two hundred thousand dollar lien from you guys in there that sent the neighbors from hell. Um, <clears throat> so yes, we had to endure a lot in there, and we're hoping that you know we want to stay there. We like the area. We like the house. We like the other neighbors and. That will be a very nice addition to our to our property. That's all I have. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, seeing no further comments or questions, can I have a motion, please? Um, also, I have I have a comment. <clears throat> you know, if you guys have lived there that long, you knew what the uh, setbacks are. Well, actually, I didn't. I mean, I didn't. I didn't study the survey or anything like that when we bought the house. That was twenty years ago. I had yeah, I know. I, I bought my house uh, thirty years ago, and I don't think there's anyone on this commission that hasn't been affected by setbacks. And you know, you have to be aware of them. And as a homeowner, that's your responsibility. To ask us to grant this, you're basically setting us up to allow the same variance. Just make a smaller pool. Yes, I guess you're correct. Um, I, 13 feet, I mean, I'm sure you guys have your reasons, but it's such an extreme setback. Like I said, you could build a house closer than you can. Okay, okay. Okay. In this case, you're abutting a road. Would it be okay if, so. if my, my friend and, and architect friend uh, spoke on behalf of me? He's been helping me for years. 
Yes, I show up. But could you please uh, go to the mic and Miss Mr. Leland. Hello. If you look at the slide that I have here, you'll see the location of their house, and it and the and it does back up to another home mm -hmm. on the side and on the rear. Just mm -hmm. okay. I can't see it on my, yeah, I can't see it on my screen where the location is. Oh. Uh, I'm showing my screen. Can everybody see my presentation? Yes. Okay, let me see if I can't do a little zoom here. How's that? Much there, better. that's better. So the pool will be located in this area uh, here? Again, I, I asked the same question as before. Do you have any notifications from neighbors that they're okay with this? All the neighbors were sent letters to our 300-foot radius, and I spoke I spoke to a lot of them personally, and they're not being issues at all. We have a, we have a six foot wood fence all the way around uh, the back. You know, it's a, it's a permanent fence, and uh, I don't know what else to say. Okay. Yes, you can step up at the mic, please, then, and name, please. Madam Chair, if I could swear that person in, if they're testifying on behalf of this application, is this someone from the applicant's team? Yes, it is. Could you if they could approach the podium and escort them in? Yes, he is. He's approaching there now. Good evening, Thank you. My, my Thank you. Can you state your name for the record, please, sir? My name is Jerome Bommel. I'm an architect in Palm Beach, Florida. Thank you. Can you raise your right hand for me? Do you swear from to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, sir? I do. Thank you, sir. Chris has been. I've been an architect in the state of Florida for over 35 years. I'm a native of Miami. Uh, my office is in Palm Beach, Florida, and I do this for a living forever. I would never even recommend he get a variance unless he needed it. There's no hardship because you can't prove a hardship to put a swimming pool in. I have never seen, again, I'm from Miami. My work 35 years as a registered architect. 13 feet is an excessive easement for a pool. Um, I've never seen a 13-foot side easement. I never, in my whole career, and I do work all over the country, all over the state of Florida. For them, they're, they're really, this pool is minimal size. It's not even a common pool. And there's nobody complaining about it. It's not causing any negative effect to any of the neighbors. Actually, it's an asset. Um, and you can't expect the homeowners 25 years ago to know a setback for a pool. It's just, it's just not a common thing. And 25 years ago, maybe they weren't even thinking about a pool. They were think about having a child and raising a son. So um, the, I, I respect your codes. I respect your commission. I respect everything you guys are doing. But not to grant the variance to me for this is it's not neighborly. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Commissioners, any more questions or comments? I have a question for the architect. Can you please go back? So basically you're saying that this is not unreasonable that they would ask for this variance, right? Not, not at all. Okay, because you're the professional and they, they you have were, a wealth were, of experience. They, they actually were um, going for bigger variance, but I told them that that was too much. I said mm -hmm. that I would pull it back to something reasonable, and we felt that number was a reasonable number. If you guys feel that you want a little bit more, I mean, a foot or so... They want a pool. I mean, they're making a big investment into this residence versus moving to another community. They love Royal Palm, and, and I kind of push them into staying in Royal Palm because I, I think it's a beautiful place. I don't think it's neg I think it's a positive thing. I, I, don't think, I don't see anything negative about this. Thank you. Thank you. It's just the fact that we do have our rules and regulations in Royal Palm Beach that we try to uh, amend to and keep it in order you know so that's what our issue problem ends up being and i and i i admire that because i think mm -hmm. and i was just telling them walking in here you guys are here to make to keep this place preserved and the quality of life and that and that's that's admirable i sit on boards for the county and all in the town so i respect everything you do and i wouldn't be here unless i felt it was something that's important would it be possible to make a pool a little smaller possible it really wouldn't be worth the money. We're probably looking at forty or fifty grand now to build a pool. Mm -hmm. Back when we bought the home, heck, you know, we we're, we're starting out in our careers. Mm -hmm. A pool that probably would have cost ten or fifteen thousand. Now it's fifty thousand, mm -hmm. um, and it's not worth it to build something that you can touch both sides of the square ground job. 
Okay, thank you very much. Okay, seeing no further questions, can I have a motion on this, please? I'll make a motion to approve. Can I have a second on that? Seeing I don't have a second. Would anybody else like to make an adjustment on this? Madam Chair, if there's no second, that motion fails. Yes, it did fail. Thank you. Can I have another motion, please, to deny the application? I make a motion to deny the application as submitted. Thank you very much. Can I have a second on that, please? I'll second. Thank you very much. Can I have a motion <laughs> on that denial, please? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Is that aye? Ray, what was your? My, I go on the record for nay. Okay. So that's. Four, two, one. Four to one. In denial. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd just like to recommend to you all guys, if you want to go in front of the council, to bring any letters with you, bring your architect with you, and any documentation or whatever, and make your presentation in front of the council. Okay? All the best. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll move on to the next item, please. That's item number three, application 20-136, Access Special Animal Hospital. The applicant, Manny, is requesting a special exception approval for a veterinarian clinic with outside run with the general commercial zoning district for a property <laughs> located on Southern Boulevard. Mitty, do you need to swear anybody in here, or it's? I do, sir. As soon as I see someone approach the podium, hopefully, Lauren, are they approaching the podium? Yes, Manny Gutierrez is here. Thank you, sir. Good evening. Can you state your name for the record? Good evening. This is Manny Gutierrez with Gutierrez and Lozano Architects, twenty-eight thirty West State Road, eighty-four, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Thank you, sir. This is the quasi-judicial hearing. Can you raise your right hand for me? I'm going to swear you in. Do you swear from the tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, sir? I do. Thank you, sir. I'll turn back to the commission and ask if there are any ex parte disclosures that need to be made with regard to application 20-136 at this time. No. no. Thank you. Thank you. You may proceed. Great. Thank you, Mitty. Um, I'll breeze through this. Um, the applicant is seeking special exception use approval to allow for a 20,411-square-foot veterinary clinic with outside run on a 38.89-acre parcel of land situated within the center of shops on 441. The veterans vet, or veterinarians clinic with outside run is a special exception use within the general commercial zoning district. It's the outside run that is making it a special exception use within the zoning district. Um, in reviewing this petition, village staff considered conformity with the Village of Royal Palm Beach's Code of Ordinances. Specifically, is it consistent with the standards of the village's comprehensive plan? complies with all development regulations of the village code, does not have adverse environmental impacts, does not have adverse vehicle or pedestrian traffic impacts, does not have an adverse impact upon public facilities, does not have adverse impacts on adjacent properties, is compatible with the character and living conditions of the existing neighborhood, does not have an adverse impact on property values in adjacent areas, not a deterrent to the improvement of or development of adjacent property, um, and with that being said, I will rec we, we are recommending that this that the Planning and Zoning Commission um, provide a recommendation of approval of this application to Village Council. And with that being said, I'll turn the floor back over to you, Chairwoman. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Bradley. Advocate, would you like to make a presentation or any comments? If you have any questions, I'm here today uh, representing uh, the, the veterinary clinic. Uh, my client, Dr. Marcus Yunus and his wife are here with me today. So if you have any questions about our application, I'm, I'm happy to answer them. Thank you very much. Any comments or questions on the public? Seeing none. none. Okay, thank no. you. Any comments or questions from the commissioners? None for Adam. <clears throat> Do you all guys have any comments or questions? Dave, any comments or questions? No. Um, I'd like to make a motion to approve application. Okay. 20-36 SE. 
Thank I'd like to second it, please. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Seeing none, the motion carried five to zero. Thank you. Take care of the animals. <laughs> Thank you. It, it's approved. That's so the next, next um, the applicant number four is 20-150, Access uh, Sustainable Animal Hospital. The applicant, Manny, is requesting an architectural approval for a reconfig reconfiguration of the doors and windows on the south, south, on the southwest and east elevation and the addition of a door run on the east elevation for a property located at 10465 Southern Boulevard. And before Bradford begins, Madam Chair, if I could ask the commission if there are any ex parte communications on this item that need to be disclosed. No. No. Thank you. You may proceed. Great. Thank you. Um, as stated, this is the inclusion of some vents for um, a generator room and a opening for the dog run and another opening just for ingress and egress. These are very minor changes. The doors and the architectural embellishments that are um, a part of these improvements are consistent with the color and materials that are currently used on this building. Therefore, staff is recommending approval of this application. I'm still trying to get used to the new, there we go. And these are the areas in which they are requesting to make these improvements. Again, we're recommending approval. And with that being said, I'll turn the floor back over to you, Chairwoman. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bradford. Applicant, do you want to make any presentation, comments, or anything? If, again, if you have any questions, uh, I don't know if I need to be sworn in again. No, no. Okay. No, sir, you're good. You've been sworn. You're good. Thank you so much. Any comments from the public? Sure. Could you step up to the mic, please, and give your name? Like, like swear men, Mindy? Yeah, no, just name. Is he, are you a public comment, sir? Yeah, I'm, I'm one of the owners of the uh, specialty hospital. Okay, yeah, then I will swear you in if you're if you're on behalf of the applicant. Okay. Can you raise your right hand? Do you swear from to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. Can you say your name again? Marcus Eunice. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to just make sure it was clear. I know the code is uh, new to me as as well, but. The outdoor uh, dog walk area is not a run, it's just a fenced in enclosure, and it's for where we're gonna walk the sick hospitalized patients. So they'll never be outside without a nurse or a doctor, and you know, the most of these patients, if they're able to walk outside, they're able to go home too. But I just wanna make sure you know, everyone's aware that there's not gonna be any pets left outside or barking or anything like that. These are you know, sick patients, most of them would need assistance to walk. It's just a little area where we can have some safety. Um, some of my colleagues and um, Palm Beach Gardens, they have a specialty hospital that didn't have a fenced in dog walk area and a dog escaped and got hit by a car. So this is just a protected you know, area, but it's not technically a, a kennel. I just wanted to make sure that was, that was clear. Thank you very much. Okay, no additional comments from the public? Seeing no comments, any comments or questions from the commissioners? No. More no. I love it. Go ahead, Dave, what are you saying? I said more commercial improvement of that facility. I love it. <laughs> um, just happy to see that you'll be taking care of animals that need all the help they can get. Yes. <laughs> Seeing that there are no further comments or questions, can I have a motion, please? I'll make a motion. We approve application number 2150. Thank you. And can I have a second? I'll second. Thank you. All those in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 All those opposed to the motion say nay. Thank you. The motion passed five to zero. Thank you very much. All the best. Uh, we'll keep an eye on you and the pets. <laughs> when, when is the grand opening going to be? April 5th? Okay, good. All right. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good, thank you. Cap, uh, agenda item number five, application 20-145, Village Hall signage. The applicant, the Village of Royal Palm Beach, is requesting 
an architectural approval for new signage for a property located at 1050 Royal Palm Beach Boulevard. Great. Mindy, can I just jump in here? Or did you need to ask any for ex parte communication or anything of that nature? Yes, is, is um, anybody else speaking on behalf of this application on behalf of the village? George Messimer. Thank you. Let me swear George in before we begin and ask for our ex parte. George, do you swear from the tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Thank you, sir. And I'll ask the commission if there's any ex parte disclosures that need to be made on this item. No. No. Thank you. Go ahead, Bradford. Thank you. Great. Thank you. George, you didn't have your fingers crossed, did you? Okay, <laughs> sir. <laughs> uh, the applicant is requesting architectural approval for wall signage, monument signage, and wayfinding signage for a new village hall. Um, the colors and materials to be used are Sherwin, Sher Sherwin Williams 7000, Sherwin Williams 6674, Colonial Red, and Ocala Sandstone. Here is an illustration of the signs and materials, how they're going to be used and how they are going to interact with each other. As you can see here on the slide, the signage is consistent with the architectural uh, features of the village hall that was previously approved. Staff is recommending approval of this application. And I'll turn the floor back over to you, Chairwoman. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bradford. Uh, would you like to make any presentation or any comments? Uh, no, I, I won't add anything else to what Bradford said other than to say that uh, we looked at you know how the signs interact with the proposed building and spent a lot of time with staff and figuring out how the signs were configured on the site mm -hmm. as well as on the building. And um, we think we've come up with something that will work and, and will look excellent on the new building. So with that, I'll, I'll leave you. it open for any questions. Thank you very much. Are there any comments from the public? No, seeing no comments from the public, can I have any comments or questions from the commissions? Sure. Okay. I'd just like to say no. it looks great. Can't wait for it to go up. Yeah, I, I agree. I think it looks great. I'd like to make a, a motion to approve application number 20-145 AAR. I'll second it. Thank you. All those in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 All those that not in favor. All those opposed to my motion, say nay. Seeing none, the motion passed five to zero. Thank you. Thank Just you. make sure you keep our village looking neat and nice. That's the main. That's our main aim and goal. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great day. That's it. Seeing that that's the end of meeting, I'd like to adjourn the meeting. See you all next month. Thank you. Have a Thank great you, day. Thank you, everybody. Stay safe. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Yes. Stay safe. Okay.